Okay, guys, welcome back to Geometry. It's going to be video number two, that drawing time. Um, I'm going to briefly go over some of the stuff we already went over since our videos on YouTube are only allowed so much time. Now, we went over that this is a line. If we see a line, which each side with the arrow means it goes on infinite. Okay. With a point, I'm trying to switch these colors so that you can see it better. I'm going to put two points here. Remember, the points represent an area on a line. If you have a point with, with distance, just like this, from one another on the same line, it becomes a line segment. So this is actually one segment of this line where it begins and ends. To label this, you can only do it in capital letters. But you can also, you'll see in ge geometry, but the lines itself can be named. And it can be named with a letter as well, but it has to be a small letter. So we're going to give that line L. Now, if I ask you and I say, what is the line segment? of line L, you would write this down for your answer. Line A, B, capital, okay? Now, just a brief summary, and there's a lot more to it, but I, I know a lot of people are scared to death, and they're wanting to go back to school and get their GED, and I have a wonderful tutor at Pensacola State College, and I've learned from him, and I'm sharing what I've learned plus what I think might help you to, to get this down. I think learning your basics is the most important. Um, and anyways, Daniel does, uh, he does private tutoring for pretty cheap. Just call uh, Pensacola State College and the, uh, the adult education department and ask for them. Alrighty, and anyways, we also talked about a ray, which we learned that a ray has a point on one end and the other end goes infinite as well. We're going to put A on this line. Okay, I don't really want to go over that too much. Line segments can actually connect to look like this or any other way that you can come up with that they can connect. And this is how the labels will work on the points, capital A, B, C, and D. I just want to take a little more time for you to understand the lines. With line segments, you can look here, and I said, well, I want you to pick the line segments that are uh, parallel to one another. And, and you're going to say, well, lines A, B, and lines C, D. You can also switch the letters around, vice versa, to B, A, or D, C. Okay? I and mean, I will cover more later as we get going. That gives you a little bit of practice of, of stuff. Okay, now this one, this line crosses another line, and this is called an intersect, an intersecting line. And as you can see, right here is where these two lines intersect. And you'll see this on your graphing, a lot of things. So you want to know what this means. You're going to see this a lot. Okay? Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Um, let's see, right here. That's what it is. Parallel lines. As long as they're inside a plane, I hope you can see this still. I'm going to have to do another video in a second. Uh, these two lines are parallel as long as they're within a plane. Now, before I forget, on our intersecting 
lines where they meet, they only meet in one place, in one place only, okay? We need to know this. I think, uh, and, and then I want to give you a quick introductory to this in, my, in this video and then make a third of more details. Uh, re feel free to uh, take notes and rewind it if you need to. Transversals, I had to write myself in notes because I forget. Transversals are, how am I going to explain this without uh, getting me too mixed up. Transversals will look like this. You'll see, and inside these transversals, you'll see that these lines together are making angles here. Okay? And these angles can be numbered. One, two, three, however, and then also it can still have points. Okay? And the lines will still have names. Am I confusing you? So you have line L, line K. Uh, don't forget their little letters, line A and line B. Just to give you a quick idea how that would work. And then with the points, of course, you would have capital letters here. Uh, write this one down and look it over. Take your time. We're not going to do anything with that anytime soon, but this is called a transversal. Okay? And have that. And I think that's it for now. Alrighty guys, if uh, this helps you any, please comment, or at least like it guys, so I know that I'm helping someone, uh, we're trying to put education out there free, and I want to make sure that you're able to get the basics, because that is so important. The basics are the most important for anybody learning education, and that's what we don't have time to do in our school systems. Alrighty guys, God bless, and thanks so much.